Welcome to the NTD Technical Corner, but with a bit of a twist. Today we're doing a real life demo on the Vision of One following a, a recent Technical Corner with Paul. Now, Paul, our audience and all of us were so impressed with the original Technical Corner on this new innovation from Zeiss that we had to get you back in to give a real life demo. So for our audience, before we start, can you tell our audience about the Vision of One? Thank you very much, Gio. Again, it's a pleasure to be back. So as we discussed before, the whole premise behind the Vision of One is to make inspection tasks a lot easier and a lot faster by making sure that every time you place a component under there, the whole of the component is in focus. And we do this with MALS technology. And as you can see from the animation, MALS is made up of these micro mirrors which can twist and rotate and translate forward and backwards at incredible speeds. And what you'll see with this animation is because we can do this really quickly, we can get multiple focus points across the component at insane speeds. So this translates in real time, extended up to focus imaging on the screen of the component that you're inspecting. So effectively what we're seeing on this on the screen here. So you're inspecting the components in a, in a faster time yeah. and it's simplified, completely simplifying the process. Absolutely. So, Paul, you know, it lends itself to a multitude of applications as we've discussed um, on the technical corner, whether that be aerospace, automotive, oil and gas or medical. But let's start with giving our audience an example of how you would have checked it before using traditional technology. And okay. then we'll move on to the vision of one. OK, thank you very much. So as we can see from the from the screen right now, we have a component that is on here that we can rotate. And what we're doing is we're actually simulating what a traditional system would look like. So as you can see from here, it's out of focus. So we'd have to keep readjusting the microscope to get that part of the component in focus. To inspect it, we then rotate the component. And then as you can see, the bottom of that is out of focus. Then we'd have to refocus again. And this is becoming time consuming. So Paul, so these are some of the pain points that inspectors across the world are incurring with traditional technology. Absolutely, absolutely. So there's this constant need to refocus. However, with the Vision of One, what we'll do is we'll just make the adjustment here and we'll increase the Z range. And you see instantly it's all in focus. So before the top and the bottom were, were out of focus and now it's all in focus. Paul, can I just clear, make this clear? You've actually um, use the Vision of One to check it in a traditional manner, yep. but by switching some of the uh, software, it's now using it to its full capability. Absolutely. Now we've set the Z range, uh, you know, at a certain height. We're using the MALS technology to give you the real time, all in focus information. So I can rotate this and we're getting it all in focus. Now we're also collecting height data. So as you can see, we can now have a height map. And now we can also have a, a real time topography view. So this is a 3D visualization of this component and it's live in real time. So I can rotate this um, and we can inspect the component in three dimensions. So instantaneously, we can this is the first time in history that this has been achieved. Absolutely. Traditionally, to create a topography image like this, you'd have to create Z stacks and we can rotate, we can spin, we can zoom in and out uh, and we can really truly inspect this component in lots of different ways. And what kind of failure analysis are you looking for? So we could be looking for burrs, we could be looking for, uh, you know, unnecessary damage from damaged cutting tools, for example, or damaging in packaging. So this could be used for inspecting goods inwards as well as goods outwards. So if you're, you know, investing in components from a third party to as part of your build or, or your project, you can inspect those components as they come in very, very quickly and very, very easily. Paul, this 3D visualization is brilliant. Um, it's predominantly for smaller components, but what is the actual depth of field? So we can actually image up to 69 millimeters of, of difference of the 3D heights of the components. So you, you could use that as a, an imaging area or for looking at the height differences of up to 69 millimeters. This is for optical inspection. It's a complete revolution. The first time in history that this can be achieved and you're also, I can also see measurements on the screen now. Paul. Absolutely, yeah. So we can take basic measurements, distance, radial measurements, angle measurements. We can put some annotations on there for the report. And we can also draw a profile line across the image. And that gives us uh, a 
topography profile as well. So now we can measure heights and we can measure widths across that topography view. We can also measure angles as well and, and, and radiuses across the profile line. And Paul, you know, let's just get this clear. It's just as simple as placing the component under the under the, the, the light. Absolutely, yeah. You place a component under the system and just set your Z range to a usable value. So if you're looking at a component that's perhaps got six millimetres worth of height, you could set it anywhere between sort of six and ten millimetres, for example. It really is that easy. So it's as simple exactly, as that. Exactly, yeah. Just set your Z range and then everything's in focus. Is this the, the future of optical inspection? Absolutely. It's not just, it's actually the present now. <laughs> yeah, but it is also the future. Yeah, so this should make things a lot easier and a lot faster for, for people that are doing routine inspection tasks. And it's going to save lots of time, money, uh, eliminate any uh, backlogs in, in, in the inspection department. Yeah. Um, Paul, it's been an absolute pleasure. I look forward to seeing these Thank products you. out in the field because I'm sure there's going to be many of them in the months and years to come. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thank you very Paul. much, Gio. Thank you.